Good luck with that. Best now, of luck. it's time for some food, everyone. We're very excited about it because Chef <laughs> John Watts is yeah. here to ease us into the weekend with something simple and delicious. John, firstly, it's lovely to have you. Yeah, with it's us. lovely to have you. Lovely to be here. Thanks so much for having me. What are you making for us today? So I am making marry me chicken. Have you ever heard of it? No. no. What does it mean? So, like well, I'm going to propose to you when I taste it. Uh, well, the story goes that back in the early 80s, somebody took this recipe yeah. into the workplace and then three people that made it over the next following weeks were proposed to soon no. after. That's where the name comes from. Wow. But, if you Mama don't, Mia, we're <laughs> if, in. If you're not looking to propose to someone, I like to use the other excuse. Well, that I'm married already, but let's, you know, <laughs> let's see how this chicken goes. Proposal go. would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm going to do to start off is just coat the chicken in seasoned flour, and I've got a pan of butter and oil getting nice and hot. Oh my and God, is that just is that flour? Or is there any things in that? Just the flour and pepper. Salt and pepper. You oh, can okay. sort of add a bunch of other bits like paprika and different seasonings if you like. What's but it like, Dermot? It's sensational. <laughs> is it? John, we are, I have to be said, me and Alison are not chicken addicts. We absolutely we love do. the chick chicks, don't we? We do. Well, so what is it about this recipe that you think special? What's your favourite bit I about? think it's the way that all of the ingredients just sort of marry together and create this delicious sauce that you're eating now. And it's quick and easy as well. And it's ingredients that you'll have in the cupboard or ones yeah. that you can get in the supermarket really easily. And it involves fried chicken, which is never a bad thing. No. Exactly. John, John just reminded us, we spoke to John when the Duke of Edinburgh passed away, is that right? I did, two and a half years ago, yeah. When we okay. just, yeah, because you were a D of E boy, is that right? Or... That's right, that's how I learned oh, to cook. Oh, that's it! You, do you really remember? Yeah. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't remember. No, I do, I do remember. <laughs> so, <laughs> remind me of the story, John. Yeah, uh, shall I just talk through this quick? So, removing the chicken from... <laughs> <laughs> All right, John, sorry. <laughs> removing... Yeah, <done. laughs> What's back story? <laughs> removing the chicken from the pan, yeah. ch chucking in some onion, <laughs> one of your five a day, or goes towards your five a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I always like good, to get that in. Good point. And I'm just going to... Stir through that and cook that for a minute. So, with the Duke of Edinburgh's Award, um, I learned to cook whilst taking part in the Duke of Edinburgh's Award whilst so I was in prison. So, mm. and I talk about this in the book that you've got in front of you, yeah. you know, that sort of journey that I've had. How easy was that um, to get into while you, while you were in prison? Was it a difficult thing to access or was it quite... Like, do you have to prove your... On the, on the way to being rehabilitated before you, they, they let you do this? Oh, how does it work? Yeah, so there, there's so many different factors. You have to be proven that you're on the way to re yeah. rehabilitation. Um, but it also takes a lot of help from other people and outside sources. Yeah. And also from myself as well. There's got to be this dedication to do it. In here, just because I'm conscious a little bit, chucking in the garlic. Yeah. Just going to cook that for 30 seconds. Um, and, yeah, so I got into the cooking and it's become a huge passion of mine. This was years and years ago, so yeah. back in 2008. And... And also, is the book a recipe book and a kind of where you started from? Exactly that, exactly that. Brilliant. And in the book, it's just full of recipes that are quick and easy to make. Nice. Made, making it simple for your everyday person. Just like this. All of so these what's ingredients that, a little bit just of stock go in. in there. So I've got some chicken stock, yeah. I've got some double cream. Right, I'm looking it up now. Prep I've time got, five is, minutes, cooking time 15. There you go. Bada bing. I've Proposal got some time, rest of your life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It hasn't worked for me in that sense yet. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've got the sun-dried tomato paste, which just gives it so much flavour, along with the dried herbs. So I've got some thyme and oregano. And those are just going to go in there and basically... But it gives away. it a really depth of flavour, doesn't it? Yeah. The depth of flavour on this is just delicious, honestly. And you, yeah, you can taste all of those sort wow, of flavours yeah. coming through. So I don't even think I've ever tasted this taste Me before in my life. Me neither. It's that good. Because sometimes with chicken breast, it can be a little, you know, meh, can't it? But actually, this is really, yeah. really juicy. And such. It's, it's actually the coating it in a flour sort of almost seals in that moisture, and that's why oh. it's. I was going to ask, do you finish that in the oven or can it, do you do it all in the pan? You can do it all in the pan. If you're funny about the chicken not being cooked through, then by all means get it now, into John, the oven. I know we don't have an awful lot of time, but you're going to do a, a, a Hasselback potato <laughs> masterclass because I love eating these and I've never made <laughs> Me them. Me too. These, right, it's so simple. All you do is slice two thirds of the way through using a wooden spoon. Yeah. Sort of stops you from cutting all the way through well, the that's potato. That's a good idea. So just like that. And it is literally that simple. And then. A little bit of seasoning, so salt, pepper, some dried herbs, a little bit of paprika. That can all go in there. Oh, look at that. Toss it up. Yes, John. And these can go straight into the oven. So there's no parboil there at all? No. Straight into the oven. Or, if you're a lover of the air fryer, you can get those in the air fryer I love for the about air half fryer. the amount of time. Yeah. And then what comes out... 
Are these absolutely delicious? Oh, crispy look at those. Hasselback They're potatoes. amazing. They, and you see, it's just in that slice, two thirds of the way down. John, how creates. long do they go in for? So 45 minutes in the oven. Lovely. Probably about 25 minutes in the air fryer. And John, now you brought those out, every shot that crew's going to give you is going to be absolutely the best camera work you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Let me tell you. Can I just say, so, John? You haven't got much yeah. out of you in the last couple of minutes, eh? I know, that? but I've, I've, I just want to say, John, will you marry me? <laughs> absolutely. That's, that's what I was going this, for. This is delicious. <laughs> Thank you so much. When I knew I was on with you, I was like, it's got to be marry me chicken. <laughs> it's got to be marry me chicken. Is that yes? Absolutely. <laughs> so. And you used to do that with a bit of steamed broccoli? Any sort of vegetables. This yeah. is the thing about all the recipes in the book. They're versatile. They can often go with potatoes, pasta, rice. Yeah. It's delicious, John. That sauce is just unbelievable. Isn't it? I've never tried anything like this, honestly. It's, it's, <laughs> if you're at home and you fancy um, making some of John's marry me chicken, honestly, get the recipe. It's on this morning's app uh, and or, it's just brilliant. Or you could buy what? Very strong. What's cooking? <laughs> uh, delicious, simple ideas from home inspired cooks. John, thank you. Thank you so much. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Will you marry me? Chicken dish. Still to come. Are they